you know, I, I see advertising and all in the financial industry. And some of that on the late night shows, you say that there are hidden secrets to getting the most out of social security checks. You know, are you missing out? And they'll even put a number out there. And then I had a message from an individual that kind of stated, I plan to take my benefits at full retirement age, but my planner says that would be a huge mistake. He suggests I wait until age 70 to start my benefits. He finishes sincerely confused. You know, he he could have also put puzzled in there. Or uh, what do I do next? And uh, so some of this goes back to when we had uh, file and restrict, file and suspend, to where an individual could file for their benefit and then pause it, suspend it, so that a spouse could draw off the worker's benefit. Then you also had that on the flip side. This, even though this person's going to be the larger breadwinner and defer, the spouse turns theirs on at FRA, and uh, as an example, and then that person that's going to have the larger check that's still deferring can draw the spousal benefits off that other, almost like a double dip, a loophole, and continue to grow and defer their benefit and essentially pick up more benefits. And it was kind of a loophole in the system. And they did go fix that a few years ago, but there's still a window for those that have turned 66 before January of 2020 still have opportunities for that. But that group, that is going away. But not everybody understand understood those unique things about social security and how to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, that is stuff we still look out for. And if, if that's what the law is, is there anything wrong with getting that extra benefit? No, there isn't, but they've eliminated the file and suspend the, the restricted benefit and such and restricted benefit kind of means I'm turning on, the benefit, but, and, and this is so that they could restrict it. They could turn on the spousal benefit and restrict it to the spousal benefit and grow their own work record, meaning the lower income of the two. And they can't do that either. If you're eligible for spousal benefits or your own work record at FRA, you can't restrict it you can turn on whichever is going to get you the most benefit. But you see, and, and maybe they still carry over to that and confusing people. And this is the other part where I, I kind of read you the note there where individuals say, well, they told me to wait to age 70. And this has to do, I think, social security decisions. And, you know, and I, I'm, I'm going to mess with your mind a little bit here. But I think this comes down to more about how much income do you want a month from Social Security benefits. Now, let me give you an example here. Let's take an individual with that at FRA, and we're going to use their turning FRA, I mean full retirement age this month. That's going to be 66 and two months. And let's say their FRA benefit is $1,000. First off, let's say if they had waited, it would be $1,000, but they turned it on and it's at, at age 62, so it would be $741 every month. If I took that number and ran it to age 70, no, I'm sorry, run it to age 80, we're going to take from 62 to age 80, they would have received about 160,000 
in benefits. Now, if they had waited to FRA, took the 1000 a month, and I take that number to age 80, they would have pulled about 165000 in benefits. Or, instead of turning it on at FRA, let's say they wait to age 70, instead of 1000 a month, that's $1,320. In, in monthly benefits. Nice, nice gain. That's over 30% increase there. From 70 to 80, they would have taken 158,000, 158,000 in benefits. Yet you catch that? If they turned it on 62 to age 80, 160,000. They waited to FRA to age 80, that's 165,000. And 70, that's 158. So you mean I'm waiting longer, getting a bigger check, but you actually drew less. And that impact actually goes because uh, of adjustments made and pushing FRA back created that discrepancy. So if FRA had been at age 65, they would have taken around 14,000 less. That would have put them... At what, uh, 156,000 there. Is that right? No. No, it, you would have had an extra year of the full retirement age yeah. benefit, so that would put you at like 172,000 if you maxed it. Right. So in, in that case, what we're seeing is that discrepancy in numbers. So, And they're telling you to wait to age 70 to start it. So when you're comparing out to age 80, the age 70 didn't draw – least amount and both the 62 and the FRA drew more. So here's here's the other shift now because what it t- essentially tells you no matter when you start it you're pulling out about the same amount by age 80. Here's the big difference. For the one that turned it on at 62 from age 80 to 90, they're taking 89920 in benefits. At age at the FRA, from 80 to 90, they're taking 120000 in benefits. And the age 70 that waited to turn it on at age 70 from 80 to 90, they're taking 158400 in benefits. So if each of these individuals lived to age 90, the one that turned it on at 62 drew $248,920. The one that turned it on at FRA took 285000 And the one that turned it on at 70 received $316,400 in benefits. So the impact is really beyond age 80. But when I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, and is, does this mean absolutely turning on? You know, that difference between the 285 and, and 316 is, you know, we're talking about $31,000, not some great amount of money. And when you start thinking about time value of money, was that worth that? So that doesn't mean it's a slam dunk just because somebody says, hey, you should wait to age 70 to turn that on. You have to look at your situation. We're not even considering spousal benefits here or the other person in the household if it's a couple. We're not considering health here and correlation assets on income. If, if one thing I've pointed out, this turn, wait to age 70 to turn it on is not absolutely the right thing to do. I think I've proven that here. Everybody's situation is different and what it brings us to is, yeah, you need a conversation to look at the scenarios that's going to work best for you. 